hello lovely people a very warm welcome to my channel today so i just want to find out if anyone can recognize this scene okay can you recognize this thing happening on the screen right now can you if you can't recognize it please give me a thumbs up and if you can't recognize it too give me a thumbs up okay so friends today i'm going to be sharing with you a very delicious recipe okay i'm going to show you the tricks on how to make this zongo style stew when i say zongo style it's not like a brand or a name i'm giving it. real zongos like you know when you go to zongo like nima or mom will be by the quain chain like more time more time rice when you get there you see the rice that they scoop and they put it on your rice for you i'm not talking about watches sellers so i'm talking about rice sellers okay they are rice so i'm making their chicken stew today and i'll show you how to get that iconic brown stew color zongo style color which you're going to love it's delicious it smells amazing it's it's just can eat it with anything your rice your wache you can eat it with yam banku fanti dokono fanti genke whatever it's amazing so please stay with me and do subscribe if you haven't and welcome back to my channel my existing subscribers you are amazing okay so yeah let's get now into the video and i will show you what i mean i will teach you what i know so come on let's get in there So we start um, with our chicken, okay? We're going to make be making chicken stew. So this is our chicken. This is hot chicken, the one we use for soup, okay? And this is my onions, my garlic, rosemary, and then um, some chili. And then some, I'm not going to add any seed to, to it. I'm going to use this to steam my chicken, okay? So yes, it's going to be delicious, trust me. You're going to love this okay so yeah so that is what i will blend that and i will pour it into um my chicken so this there's the ginger and that is the garlic right okay so i'll blend all these together and that will go onto our chicken right and the stock that will come out of this will form part of our stew so you know you know that is going to be delicious going to be mm -hmm. So here I'm blending my um, aromatics, okay, so my ginger and the garlic, as I said, and my onions, my chili, that is scotch bonnet, okay, very spicy, the green one, and then my rosemary, I'm going to give it a whiz, yes, and then it will go onto um, our chicken, I'm going to use it to steam our chicken, okay. So once that is done, we set that aside, and this is how it looks like, okay very nice and we'll go through the rest of our ingredients so today i'm going to use fresh tomatoes okay because um yeah that's what they use in making the zongo style stew and i've blended it and that's how it looks like okay it's more of it just one batch and i'm going to be using my chili paste okay which i've already shared the recipe i'll link it for you here is my tomato paste more ginger okay to make this stew yum 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 more garlic yes and then more onions right so we're going to be blending all this together and this is what we get after blending the garlic ginger and onions okay so here are our spices okay so i'm listing them for you to know what what i'm putting in there so you can see now so now it's cloves and gram cloves white pepper okay and here curry powder and then turmeric and um more turmeric and then vegetable bouillon you can use magic cube or whatever you have or not because it's not really um, necessary i've added some black pepper and i'm stirring it all together and i'll put it in when the time comes okay so now we're going to put our um blended aromatics um onto um our chicken okay so i as i said i used um 
her chicken and these are layers okay and um i don't they are not layers they are layers is it the layers are the ones that are on one of day okay so uh -huh. so yeah i'm adding some salt to taste and i'm going to be cooking it until it's nice and soft these can this this particular type of chicken is hard i'm not using soft chicken i'm using the layers the Macho ones, you know. <laughs> that's what they use for soup and mainly like, you know, in Ghana, that's what they use for the steam, right? So I left the skin and everything on so that it gives that authentic look when you go to the, the furnace, uh, roadside and quite chain home way, be cow could it down there, baby, to go and buy rice, you know, what you get, and exactly what I'm trying to replicate here, okay? So I'm going to drain it. I'm going to use the same pot I used to cook the chicken to fry it because this is a granite coated pot and this reduces splatter and you know chicken for some reason it, it just splatters rough rough by heart it, it splatters so what is that so i've cleaned it and i've put some oil sunflower oil into my pot and i've added a pinch of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda right it reduces splatter trust me try it and let me know okay so then now i'm adding my chicken to fry it we are going to fry it until it's golden brown okay until when it's lying on the plates it is a corner corner that people would want to steal it mm -hmm. you see the chicken like mm, i did bad day by the time you turn around whether or not hey where did the chicken go chai you know that, that that look that's what you're looking for a corner look yeah so that's what i'm i'm trying to achieve here so i'll give it like you know i'll fry it and then um yes so here i'm putting fresh rosemary in my oil so that the freshness the smell and the everything will be infused into my chicken you know so that when you bite into that chicken here yeah, you know you know say yes it's near the near baby you will not experience this taste i tell you it is like it is just something else another level okay right so yes my you see the the color of the chicken nicely browned okay so i'm pouring the same oil with the rosemary and everything into another um pot here i'm using a wok a big wok and i'm going to be frying my stew in it okay so here goes in my ginger garlic and my um onions okay that i blend that i also blended yeah i should i didn't show me blending that one okay so yeah i'm going to fry that until it is like you know the water in it the moisture in it is reduced okay so then i'll start to add the rest of it this and we are doing the zongo style so i'm going the technique in getting that um color and the taste and the texture that's what i'm going to be um showing you in this video so if you pay close attention you know i'm not going to be showing everything that i did but i would do probably show one and tell you the number of times i did them so that you will know when you're doing it try to replicate it you get it right so here goes in my tomato puree i'm going to mix it very well make sure it is nicely mixed with my onions and other things blended together yeah and then i'll start adding the rest of of the stuff that would be my chili paste and i think i've already put in the chili paste did i miss that yeah no that was the chili paste i just put in i'm now going to put in the tomato puree smart why not smart that i worked that one out okay <laughs> i did am i not smart that i worked that one out yeah so that was the chili paste i put in because it's so red i thought it was the chili it was the tomato paste so i've now put in the tomato paste making my my stew even more redder now right and now i'm adding my bay leaves okay so give it a stir let it cook for a little bit it's you know it's dry chili you know the recipe i used to making the my chili paste and the tomato puree too it doesn't need a lot of cooking at this moment because the whole stew is going to be cooking for long so you don't need to like waste too much time on this trying to cook and um, the paste the chili paste and the puree so i'm now pouring in my tomatoes all my tomatoes that i, I showed you are blended up and now we're going to be cooking this okay so what is going to happen is when you cook this for about half an hour and um, stirring intermittently or stirring uh, periodically right you get 
all the moisture in it will like you know disappear there should be a nice word for that i know there's a scientific word but i said i mean guy right so look at how it looks like usually when you're making like normal stew you let it cool fast we jump over for like like 30 minutes be and we are good to go right but what happens is here you put in some more water when it gets to this stage when all the moisture is gone okay let me use that you add one liter of water okay so i did this four times so i add water i let it cook for like 30 to 40 minutes and then the moisture disappears it becomes nice and thick then i'll add another um liter of water i did it four times and i only showed once okay so once that is done this is the time where i will be adding my um stock my chicken stock okay so here you see that the oil has resurfaced it surfaced nicely on it it looks good already and let me tell you friends that zongo stew when you go to the uh, quenchen to buy your rice the stew the oil is covered on there's a lot of oil covered like on the surface there's a lot of oil on the surface let me say it that way okay so when you're trying to i'm trying to replicate that so I've, I've even reduced the oil right okay so i've added my stock and then i'm adding my all my spices together all these spices you can find them in ghana it's very very readily available okay you add it i also added dawa dawa to give it that extra extra umami authentic taste because dawa dawa dear sister if you do your stew or you make your stew and it doesn't taste like a amelia diana or amaria diana that you say you are missing dawa dawa so make sure you add a, a pinch of dawa dawa at least okay so i added some dawa dawa i didn't show it but yeah i think it was an afterthought okay i realized that no without dawa dawa i'm not complete okay so that's the dawa that i've just showed you i dissolved it in water and i poured it in okay so i'll stir it and then i will let it simmer for another 30 minutes this took me um up to like six hours to cook because i, would, well, I just wanted to get it right okay that is because this is so the splatter is you won't even believe it so what i do is before i go in to stir i turn off the i turn off the the, the flame for it to cool down you see the way it's cooled down now yeah before i do anything because then the splatter would have stopped because it was splattering too much and i, I was burning my skin so i'm like you know so i turn it off the, sl the splatter stops then i put whatever i need to stir it or whatever then i will increase the the flame or the heat right so here is the time i'm putting my chicken so i decided to turn it down again and then i put in my chicken once i put in my chicken then i'll increase the heat then stir it like you know stir it increase the heat and let it cook till it's done so this is the last bit that i did i put that um the chicken in gave it a stir and let it simmer for about 10 15 minutes and that was done and when you're stirring these things you have to pay particular attention to the bottom when it sticks then you 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 bear in mind that if the like just as it sticks at the bottom now don't scrape it but since she had yeah make sure that you keep scraping it until so that it doesn't stick so much okay so that's like you know another thing to bear in mind so yeah that is our steam and now it's done and i wanted to transfer it into a silver so i'm gonna record this silver aluminium pot right silver so that it will look proper 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 zongo because they they pour it in a silver like pine or bowl or saucepan yeah so yes friends that is it that is a stew down it looks it's very easy to do but it's time you need time when you're making a lot it's you need time and obviously i made a lot so yeah it took me time and i had to stop turn it off and just think about myself so i just turn it off then go and do my own thing then i come back to continue because once because the way we've cooked it so much you know it is it can stay out for a longer period without it okay so yeah i'm giving a stir and then i'll add some fresh chopped onions and fresh um peppers okay so that to garnish it to let it look a uh, appealing appetizing so that's a many a memuna to any asana any a friend is saying a be by a competition with the same line so i'm bomb to me mono because i still know it is much nicer saying oh dear that is why i'm garnishing it like this <laughs> Hey, yeah.
So yeah, that is it. And yeah, he served, I served it with rice and I showed you earlier, right? With rice in the leaves and on the plate as well. If you want to go on the mop, you know, posh, you know, line, like I said, with your two plates, so in the camera. Very delicious. So yeah, this is what I wanted to share with you. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try and let me know. And if you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, please put it down in the description box and I will so that is it that is all i have for you so family please do subscribe please like my video and share it with your friends and family or anyone that you think would love this recipe and i will see you very soon in the very next one so until then i say and before i go i want to ask i hope everyone is doing well by god's grace we thank god bye